What is going on YouTubers? Nick Dalvaber back here with another review for you today and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Something that I've never done and that is going to be a juice review. I ordered a sample pack off of a company called TheCleanVape.com. Their pricing is right along with everybody else's pricing in the vape community as far as your juice lines go. So I think I ended up paying, I got five 15 mil bottles five different flavors it ended up being right around 23 bucks with shipping and handling and taxes and stuff like that now their 60 mil bottles are right around 15.99 and their 120 mil bottles are around 30 dollars so it's right there in the same price line as pretty much every other company out there but let's go ahead and dive down the up close and personal camera i'll show you the labeling and the different flavors that i picked up for this review alrighty guys and here is the labeling on the juice company it's called the clean vape right there is their actual logo and as you can see this one will be cookies and cream you're gonna have cookies cream and milk inside of this one this is a three milligram 70 30 VGPG as you can see it's got all the warning labels that you would think you would need on this the only thing that I would say that clean vape needs to work on is come on guys you really couldn't make smaller labels for your 15 mil bottles I don't even have a juice company and I, I made different size labels for my juices anyways not gonna get into that too much here is the second flavor. It is going to be a strawberry custard. As you can see, it's just showing strawberries and creams. Again, three millimeters, their social media, 7030, strawberry custard, their logo. Juice number three will be apple butter. As you can see, apple, cinnamon, and butter. Label is all the same. Juice number four will be graham berry. Strawberries, milk, and graham crackers is the flavor profile for this. Nice clean labeling, I will say that about it. And the last one will be loops, which would be their cereal flavor. Not much to go over, just cereal and milk that is stated on the bottle. Alrighty guys, let's now that we're back up on top, let's go ahead and get this started. First one I am going to try is the Graham Berry. It, they are stating that it is Graham Crackers dipped in strawberry milk. A creamy vape with hints of cinnamon cereal and a light strawberry touch. Sweet Graham Crackers flavor and strawberry combined to create a unique flavor profile. So let's go ahead and get this opened up. Now their smaller bottles do come in glass bottles, dripper bottles, but I think that their bigger stuff is coming in Gorilla bottles, but I'm not 100% sure. I have not received any of those. So for a smell test, I'm getting more strawberries and graham crackers. I'm not really getting a lot of like a cream flavor. I'm going to go ahead and shake it up real quick. Go ahead and drop it on my RDA, which today I am going to be using the Profile RDA on top of the UL Blocks mod. Liking this setup a lot. Been using it. I take it on the go pretty much everywhere I go lately. Alright guys, here we are for the Graham Berry from the clean vape the granberry from the clean vape here we go <clears throat> interesting so the nicotine content is a three milligrams and it's not a very harsh three milligrams I think it's very easy on the throat the flavor, I would say, I actually, when I smelled it, I smelled more strawberries than I smelled anything else. 
but when I actually vape it, the strawberries is very, very mild. You get more graham cracker than anything, in my opinion, and you get a little bit of a... I think it's from the cinnamon inside the graham cracker. You get a little bit of cinnamon. It's, it is somewhat of a creamy vape, but it's not extra creamy. If that makes any sense, like the old Telios milk, like it was super creamy. You're not getting anything like that. But let me go ahead and take another vape real quick. It's not bad. Not bad at all. I would definitely vape this stuff. Um, you get a little bit, the aftertaste is more strawberries than anything else. On the exhale and inhale, I really don't taste too much strawberry, but the aftertaste in my mouth is strawberry, so it's kind of nice. It's almost like, you know, like a milkshake. You get that like last little bit of flavor on your in the back of your throat. It's kind of nice. One more. Yeah, pretty good. Liking it. First one is a hit, in my opinion. Alrighty, guys. Let's get into juice number two. And I am going to be trying their apple butter, it is called. Go ahead and read the flavor profile. They are saying, apple butter is a light blend of apples, cinnamon, and light crust notes. It is a reminiscence of an apple pie filling and is something you can vape all day without it being overbearing. A crisp apple flavor with a creamy cinnamon background blend together to make a tasty mix. So let's go ahead and do a sniff test real quick. So it's pretty much all apple is all I'm getting. Um, maybe a little bit of cinnamon, but I hope that the cinnamon is not overbearing as a lot of apple cinnamon flavors are. I like a lot of apple flavors. Jam Monster Apple, their, you know, their apple version of their Jam Monster is one of my favorite e-liquids. I've vaped so many 120 bottles, it's absolutely ridiculous. Smells pretty good. Let's go ahead and have a vape and give this apple butter a try. Very good. Honestly, very, very good apple e-liquid here. It is got a very slight cinnamon taste, a lot of apple, and you definitely get the butter aftertaste. So it kind of leaves that good juiciness in the back of your throat. The cinnamon, I would say, adds a little bit of a throat hit. A lot of cinnamons do that. Their 3 milligram, I don't think is very strong. The nicotine throat hit, I don't think is very strong. But the cinnamon adds to it a little bit. So just be aware of that. Yeah. Another good one. I think if you don't, if you don't like cinnamon, I, st I would steer clear of this. Because you definitely have a cinnamon flavor there. But the apples are more pronounced than the cinnamon. So if you don't mind cinnamon, you could actually give this a try and you might like it. But just make sure that you're aware that there is cinnamon in this e-liquid. And if you don't like cinnamon at all, I would not recommend it. But it is a very good apple cinnamon flavor. And the butter just adds to that juicy aftertaste in my opinion. Alrighty guys, and let's get into juice number three, and that will be their cookies and cream. Go ahead and read the flavor profile for you. It says, our take on a cookies and cream. Light, creamy, chocolatey, and tasty. A blend of a vanilla cream, light chocolate notes, and a hint of cookies. Let's go ahead and do a sniff test real quick for you. Really nervous, guys. Really nervous on this one. I did not realize that there was chocolate in this. I did handpick these five flavors. I did not have them pick them for me. This is more of my flavor palette. So, I didn't realize that it would, there was chocolate in here. I probably wouldn't have ordered it. I probably would have tried something else. But, 
you never know. You might, you know, you got to try new stuff. You might actually like it. <clears throat> I do get a lot of a cream flavor um, in, on the inhale when I sniff it. I don't know exactly what cream. I do mix my own flavors. And it is sort of like a Boston cream almost smell taste to it or smell to it. It doesn't smell terrible, but let's go ahead and drip some of this stuff real quick. It smells a lot better when you burn it than what it does in the bottle. Wow, I'm really surprised. So <clears throat> when you smell it, it actually does smell kind of chocolatey. But when you vape it, there's not a lot of chocolate notes at all. It's very, very mild. You definitely do get some chocolate, but it's not like a shit ton of chocolate in my opinion. So it actually is very, very good. A lot of cream, a little bit of chocolate, and... That's about all I get. I, I think that's, I mean, maybe a little bit of vanilla, but not a ton. It's not overbearing. I think that the cream is more pronounced than anything in the flavor. And, whew, a little, well, juice there. A little juice coming up. But, this one's actually my favorite out of all the ones I've tried so far. So, like I said, make sure you guys try something new. You might actually like it. I probably would have never ordered this seeing that there was chocolate in it. But I'm glad I did because it is very good. Very good. <clears throat> the cream just comes out very strong. It's almost like, uh, kind of reminds me of, what is that cereal? Uh, the cookie... The cookie, I can't remember, is something cookie crunch or maybe something to that nature. Kind of reminds me of that, guys. It's like a very strong, creamy, kind of like when you're drinking the milk at the end of like the cookies and cream cereal. <clears throat> very good. I actually like that a lot. Alrighty, guys, and let's get into juice number four, and that is going to be Loops. So let's go ahead and read the flavor profile from their website. It says, Loops is our take on the tasty cereal. Light fruity notes, citrus, cereal flavor, and a light milk to round it all off. This one will bring you back to your childhood. So I'm always nervous with Fruit Loop Vapes because a lot of the companies seem to put a little bit too much of a lemon or a citrus taste into it. So... <clears throat> I have found a lot of cereal vapes that I do like, so I figured I would give theirs a shot and see what it tastes like. So, right off the bat, you definitely notice that citrus smell, which you do notice in a lot of your cereal vapes, but there are some very good ones out there, and I wanted to give the Clean Vape their opportunity to get their flavor profile out there on the interwebs so you definitely smell the cereal the citrus let's go ahead and drop a couple drips down into this RDA like I stated before guys I am using the profile RDA I have the 22 millimeter top cap on there and I'm running it at all the top holes closed with four of the bottom ones closed off as well. That's about where I always run it. I like it there. Small oh, man, it smells amazing. It smells so good on the burn. Man, does it smell good. <clears throat> Hopefully I didn't over drip this one. Let's go ahead and give it a try. little bit of an overdrip. Got a little bit of juice in my mouth. So 
So to me, it's more like Fruity Pebbles. It tastes a lot more like Fruity Pebbles than it does Fruit Loops. And there's not much of a milk undertone at all. It's pretty much just like taking Fruity Pebbles, a handful of Fruity Pebbles, and stuff it in your mouth and chewing on it for a while. It's very good, but if you want that milk, I think that uh, you should definitely try a different flavor profile. I think that it's it's still a good vape, don't get me wrong. But I don't think that there's enough milk. I think there should have been a little bit more milk than what there is inside of this vape right now. Let's go ahead and do another one. Not bad. It's not bad. It's a good citrus flavor. It's it like I said, it tastes just like fruity pebbles in my opinion. I could vape on it. It's not bad. Their flavors are actually really good. None of them have been like I can't taste I can't taste any flavor. They've all had very flavorful vapes. So, I give them kudos to that. A lot of these juice companies, some of them you try them, it's like, oh, what do you, you know, it's just either a bad flavor or no flavor. Alrighty, guys, and let's get into juice number five, and that is going to be the strawberry custard. Let's go ahead and read the flavor profile off of their website. It says, strawberry custard is our take on the classic favorite. Strawberries and custard combined for a delightful all-day vape. Let's go ahead and do a sniff test for you. Oh, it smells very, very good. I hope it tastes half as good as it smells. Let's go ahead and drip this real quick. Lots and lots of strawberries. The strawberry taste is actually really strong. Or, yeah, taste is very strong. Very smooth. Little bit of a cream aftertaste. I don't get a ton of custard. It's not a very, very tart custard. It doesn't, like, hit the back of your throat real hard. It's very smooth, very easy to vape. I'm liking it. I think it smells better than it tastes, but you get a lot of strawberry and it's not like overpowering strawberry. It's very good strawberry and the custard's not overpowering either. It's a nice combination of the two. So anyways guys, that is about all I got for you today. Once again, it is thecleanvape.com. Go ahead and try a bundle pack out. They also have a lot more flavors on there as far as like fruit flavors and stuff like that. I just ordered a five bundle pack to try some of the flavors that I am used to. Cookies and cream, cereal vapes, custards, stuff like that is what I vape all the time. So I can give you an accurate description of what I personally think from other juice companies. Me personally, the cookies and cream was my favorite. Like I said, it's kind of like that cookies crunch cereal or whatever it's called. And it's got that nice milky aftertone, creamy aftertone, whatever you want to call it. But the custard, strawberry custard, was very good as well. It's not an overpowering custard. It has got a lot of strawberries. It's a good combination of the two flavors. Also, the Loops was very good. I think that it is a good cereal vape. I wish it had a little bit more milk to it, but I think that it is a very good cereal vape. You should give it a shot. I want to thank the VapeWise for suggesting this on their show. They gave a discount code on there, so if you want a discount code and they don't have one on the website already, make sure you check out the VapeWise live stream. They have a discount on there. I think it's the Vape 10 or something like the VapeWise 10 or something like that. But anyway, shout out to the VapeWise. Thanks for suggesting this. I had to get an order in and try them out for myself but we will see you next time guys 
here on Nick Dive Vapor. Please subscribe and hit the like button if you don't mind doing so. Until next time, guys, we will see you later.